to my channel, Feeling the Journey. I am Colleen and Renee, and today I want to show you how I turned my 1990s Golden Oak kitchen into a contemporary luxury kitchen using IKEA elements. This home purchase was really exciting because of the remodel, but also very intimidating because of the remodel. I was really excited to be able to finally put all of my ideas uh, to the task. And as a avid Pinterest peruser, I had all kinds of ideas in my head that I wanted to incorporate in design. And with me at the wheel, being able to make all the decisions and be as creative as I wanted to be, I was finally in a place where I got to uh, implement. So that was fun, but it was scary. There was a lot to do and I wasn't quite sure where to start. I knew what how I wanted it to look, but um, a lot of coordinating and elements that went into that. I wasn't really sure how to approach it, but I started just by going through my Pinterest, getting all my ideas that I had collected over the years. And uh, the one thing that inspired the entire kitchen was this glorious island that I had saved photos of. So when I went out to look for manufacturers that carried the high gloss cabinets, I stumbled across ikea in a google search and found that they had them so of course i went to the warehouse and checked them out and got very excited when i found that they offer uh styling as well so that you can take your measurements to them and they will help you with the layout and help you put together the kitchen that uh, you're desiring so that was a lifesaver for me since I had no idea how to approach this on my own. So I was determined to create some uniqueness to my kitchen. And as I strolled through Ikea, one area that I got really excited about was the area where they have all their media. And when I went in there and I looked at the options for uh, doors or, or cabinet size, that kind of thing. They had so many options in the media section where the kitchen section was limited and had maybe a dozen or, or so options for the kitchen doors. And they were all pretty uh, generic and looked, looked the same. So I was really excited. I went to the media section, started putting ideas in my mind, ran across some doors that had some texture to them, that had some uh, different sizes and they also had the glass cabinets but they didn't look like the typical kitchen glass cabinet they they had more of a square shape to them and I thought that they would that would bring some uniqueness to the kitchen and I also had my sink cabinet which I did not want to take apart I wanted to change everything out except for the sink because I didn't want to get into that additional expense of plumbing so that's where I was able to save some money to help with some of the other things in the kitchen. So I kept my sink cabinet and it was a very large cabinet, 48 inch cabinet. And I was able to take some of those doors from the media section and cut them down so that they fit perfectly. And that added some texture so that everything in the kitchen was not high gloss. It added a variety and um, just helped bring some 
some uniqueness and customization to the kitchen. So I was able to cut these down to size and it didn't affect uh, the cabinet doors in any way. Just put the cut side facing the floor. And these cabinet doors have an awesome grain to them, a horizontal wave. And what I did was tie that in to the tile, the backsplash tile. So it has the same kind of texture to it. And that blended in those Ikea doors so that they look like they were intentional. And even though I was keeping the the base cabinet for the sink, it looked like that was purposeful. So you can't tell at all that that's the old 1990s Golden Oak original cabinet. Just painted the, uh, the spaces in between a high gloss so that they match the other cabinets and use that awesome textured door. This also meant that I had to find a sink that was 48 inches as well if I wanted to keep that cabinet. So I found this glorious sink online. It was really difficult to find one this big in the stainless steel. And uh, I will put all the links down below for these items. I want you to be able to find it since it, it was really difficult to find. Um, and I will put the links to all the other items that I can think of too down there that, that could help you out. Anyhow, there's the, the kitchen cabinets that I found in the media section. They're beautiful and they have the push open doors, which is really nice. You could just push them open. And this is where I just keep my glassware and things because I think that the main reason why these kind of cabinets aren't sold as kitchen cabinets. It has to do with how much weight they can bear. Although when we hung them, they were hung the same way um, other cabinets in the kitchen section were hung. So I'm not sure what that means, but anyhow, to be safe, I use them as a design element and uh, hold my lightweight glassware. So. so the one thing I did not want to compromise on was that I wanted the high-end luxury appliances. The house came with a sub-zero refrigerator, which I was not real familiar with. But once I went to the appliance store to learn more about it, I saw all the other luxury appliances and the salesperson walked us through and showed us some amazing things that these smart appliances can do. And I was determined to have those in my kitchen. So that was one of the motivating factors for using the Ikea cabinets and hardware and cutting corners where I could and waiting on my, my, uh, my countertop too. So I was okay with that if I could have the luxury appliances. So I have a glorious Mealy oven, built-in oven, and this is the pride and joy, is the Thermador cooktop and the Thermador range hood. And these two pieces just give the kitchen that overall feeling of luxury. They're worth every penny. They are very expensive, but they're also very unique. The cooktop um, enables you to put a pan anywhere on the space, anywhere on the glass, and instead of having designated areas, you can put it anywhere and the heat will conduct in that area. So I'm going to do another video on these appliances and show how they work and the benefits of them because they are so unique. And then here's my Cove dishwasher, which I love and I'll also do a future video. So be sure to like and subscribe and push the notification button so that when I do release those videos you will be notified and you can see how these amazing appliances work, particularly the Thermador cooktop which I just am crazy about. The Cove is pretty cool too and a lot of people aren't familiar with the Cove but it's made by Sub-Zero and it's a glorious dishwasher so be sure and uh be sure and make sure you're going to get notified when that comes out. So the original kitchen had this funny little workspace, I guess bill paying space 
office space in the kitchen that I did not want to keep. And I had that torn out, but needed to replace it with some sort of cabinetry. I wanted, since I didn't have upper cabinets, I wanted to have a pantry cabinet of sorts. There's also a pantry built alongside the kitchen, but I wanted to have a place to hold all my dishes that would normally be in an upper cabinet. So I went on a search for some beautiful pantry cabinet cabinets that could fit in that space and found these glorious ones at a restoration hardware outlet store. It also breaks up the all over white tone and kind of warms the space and just adds something unique. So don't be afraid to experiment and use furniture. In the island, I priced out granites and wanted to have an overhang and actually build a uh, a glass bar here. That's why there's a seam here. This There was a piece of metal that's supposed to go there. But we ran out of money. So I looked hard and um, found this wonderful, just old Formica countertop that you can still get in a high gloss and it looks great. It cost a hundred bucks. So this is the temporary top until I can afford that granite. And then over there you see in the curtain area where I uh, am waiting for my second dishwasher because I want to have two dishwashers. That was always my dream. So that's coming in the near future. They're on back order. But this uh, countertop enabled me to still have a nice look while waiting to save up for the one that I really want. So don't give in and feel like you have to just you know, get something basic because you don't have enough for, for what you really want. Time can give you that and find something creative that can fill the space until you, you're able to do so. I just love the big drawers that Ikea offers. They have a lot of room. Uh, they look very sleek. And the storage is just amazing. So this is the inside of my pan drawer. And you can get these different storage dividers from Ikea, and you can actually put as many as you want in there. They just pull out, they clip out. But as you can see that there's just a lot of room in there, a lot more room, a lot more convenient. And I also like the glass side. It just looks very sleek and contemporary, and it's just overall beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed that tour of my kitchen and I hope that I was able to inspire you to use some creative design elements and maybe think outside the box like with the media cabinets and, and not doing the sink cabinet to save money and also to be able to say it's okay if you can't work something into your budget right away like with the granite and replace it with an inexpensive item. But you can be creative and it can still look okay while you're waiting. And good things are, are, are worth waiting for. So